Dear colleagues, during FECO emulsification, sometimes the pupillary margin of the iris can get caught in the aspirating port of the tip of the FECO handpiece. In this case, the same thing happened and let us see how I managed the rest of the surgery. By this time all the incisions have been made. Now capsulorexis is, been, is being done with the help of a uterita forceps. This cataract appears quite hard, it's about grade 4. The machine being used in this case is Oatly Cataract 3 FECO machine. The vacuum and flow rate in this case was 550. 500 millimeter of mercury was the vacuum and 50 ml per minute was the flow rate. And FECO power is 80%. This is the this is in FECO 2 mode and at this moment I am doing a direct job. So far there is no problem at all. And the nucleus has been nicely chopped. The nucleus is being chopped at another place. Now emulsification of this free nuclear fragment is done and see what happens. Suddenly I was quite far from the pupillary margin suddenly the iris came and got caught in the aspirating port. Now I have to be very careful because once the iris gets caught, gets caught it has a tendency to come to the aspirating port repeatedly. So what I am doing is I have come out and injected some viscoelastic substance. I'm going to use an instrument that looks like Y. And this instrument is can be uh, can more uh, effectively can push the iris. So I want to push the pupillary margin in case it comes to the FACO handpiece. I have decreased the vacuum to 400, flow rate is 40 and now the tendency of the iris to come to the FECO port appears less. Now all the uh, nuclear fragments have been emulsified. And now viscoelastic substance is being injected and we will see that there is a very small nuclear fragment is there here. A small nuclear fragment is there just in front of the side port on the left side. And my aim is to remove this nuclear, small nuclear fragment before I, this is the, before I aspirate the cortical matter. So I have removed that small nuclear fragment. If I don't remove that at the beginning, it can get lost underneath the iris somewhere and after one month you may notice it at 6 o'clock in the entry chamber. So to avoid that we must take out any small nuclear fragment before aspirating cortical matter. In this case, in this case the cortex cortical matter has been uh, removed by a Simco cannula. I'm, at this moment I am going through the side port and I have removed the cortical matter. Now I am going to implant a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens in this case and in this case my plan is to trim the
iris tag where the margin got caught into the aspirating port of the FACO handpiece. I've just used irrigation to polish the posterior capsule and now viscoelastic substance HPMC is being injected at this moment and now a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted the leading haptic has not gone into the capsular bag in this case so what I do is I just depress the leading haptic and place it in the capsular bag I dial the lens and at the same time I push it back and place the trailing haptic also in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance is being irrigated out. Now I have taken the cutter, vitrectomy cutter. This is Acuris vitrectomy system. And I want to trim that iris tag here it is just turn to that side and I trim the iris and then I try turn back and gradually I come out so it looks nice now so this is just a cosmetic uh, a step Sometimes this this uh, thread-like iris tag can come in the visual axis and may cause some problem. So I thought in this case I will trim the pupillary margin there, and now it looks nice. That's it. The viscoelastic substance has been nicely removed. Now I hydrate the side ports with VSS. This is balanced salt solution and a 27 gauge cannula. And I'm hydrating the side port. Once the side ports are hydrated, and I this is the final wash. That's it. Hope this video will help you, will inspire you to do surgery in a more neat and clean way. Thank you for your attention.